Hi, everybody. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating those custom cams that your kids are going to create um, while working through problem 8.2 or they're maybe doing 4.6 and designing a cam. Um, you know, we've already spent some time in our training walking through how to, uh, you know, tell a story, turn that into a motion graph, use the motion graph to get X, Y coordinates um, where, where we're going to correlate, you know, angle of rotation to how high above the follower rod we're, we're interested in, you know, being. So how how much up and down the object is moving. So I have a little file here that I'm going to share with you guys. It's a template that I've created. Um, in the future, you might want to try creating on your own because it's really not that difficult, to be honest. It is a circle. Notice it's construction. Everything is dotted for reasons. These are all construction lines, uh, which you can create by using, uh, you know, i got to get into sketch mode. You can use these and turn things into construction lines. That's your that's your button right there. And, it, and what it means is it's not actually going to be part of the actual shape. It's just a line that's here to, there to kind of guide you. Okay. And I created a circle. And I dimensioned that circle to have a radius, not a diameter, but a radius of 1.375. And then I used what's called the offset tool. And I just pulled that circle out and I made increments of an eighth of an inch. So if you look in, zoom in so you can see it. There you go. Eighth of an inch increments between... Then what I did is I did vertical, horizontal construction lines, and I did 45 degrees and 45 degrees, and I locked those in to be perpendicular to each other. So everything is fully constrained. You can see it down here in the bottom corner. Hopefully that shows up and it's not cut off, but it's fully constrained. Again, I'll share this file with you if you're in my training. Um, so how do I work with this then? The reason that I created this template is because then what I can do is I can just go place points and I can lock into these locations. So for instance, I'm just going to draw the snail cam totally different way. Ready? I'm going to say this is zero degrees. And I'm just going to walk out by one rung in every single spot. As long as I'm clicking where I have the intersection of those two points, all of these points are already locked into place. I don't have to do any dimensioning. I click OK, it still says fully constrained. And now what I can do is this. I'm going to click on line. I'm going to make sure that's not a construction line here. Okay. And I'm just going to connect my points. So I'm going to get this green dot all the way out to this one. Click. Notice it's solid. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to get the drop down tool. I'm going to get the spline tool, the interpolation. I'm just going to follow this. Here we go. To here, to here, to here, to where is that one? It's right there. I'm going to click the check mark because I'm done. Look at that. That thing is fully constrained. And now, just rotate it so you can see it a little bit better. And it's not per, you know, there's there's some things here. Like I'm a little bit perturbed by the fact that this goes up. I don't know if that's going to cause issues or not. I don't have a clue. But I finish the sketch. I can go here and I can extrude this shape. Maybe say three sixteenths of an inch. Um, we have found from experience, you'll want to drill a hole in the middle for an axle. And we found from experience, just to let you know, if you have trouble with this in the assembly file, um, typically some of the trouble happens at this edge right here where the drop-off occurs. So if you go and you just add a really tiny fillet, let's say like 0.05 inches, right here, just a slight little round. I'm going to do the same thing right here. We found that that helps a lot with the, with the way that the assembly file acts, just something really tiny. And now we have a cam looks pretty good doesn't it so that's that's a way to create no matter what your design is you use a template like what we had sorry let's go back to the sketch file use a template like this and that's going to make it a heck of a lot easier for your students to get those custom cam designs the weird funky designs that they come up with whenever they write their own story so hopefully that helps um, again i'll send the file to you guys i'll share it with you and uh, if you have any questions let me know